Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you were filming. <laughs> um, what's my name and what do I do? Well, um, I'm Gareth Gates the third. Not two, three, because uh, mum and dad didn't bother to put, you know, those three extra eyes after my name for you to mess that up. So, um, Gareth Gates the third. And I'm head of security for my freelance company, Gates Safety and Secure. Is safety something that you've always taken seriously in your life, Gareth? Well, safety's no laughing matter. I mean, like, I don't find burglary funny personally. So, um, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not like it's everything to me, like security. Like, I do try and get out for a pint with lads every now and again, but, like, when there's a choice between a dinner date and a burglary alarm fitting, then, well, let's just say there's going to be a very disappointed lady opposite a very lonely, cold pasta bake. <laughs> Could you tell me more about your family? Well, um, my grandfather, nah, he's Gareth Gates, right? Because a lot of people seem to think that I'm related to former pop idol star Gareth Gates, but that is not the case, I assure you. Um, anyways, my grandfather, Gareth Gates, he were a bouncer way back when. And then my dad, Gareth Gates second, two eyes, he were, uh, oh, what did he do now? He was security for Greg's. And is your father still working in security? Not currently. Oh, well, why is that? He kept making sausage rolls. Come on, don't worry, follow me. Ah, uh, there you go, don't worry about it. There's no 1045s in vicinity. What's that? Oh, animal carcass off premises. Now, um, we are in process of getting something a bit more personalised, but this is doing us just fine for now. Yeah, I think, I think that one... We need to get that done. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, definitely. definitely. Absolutely. Now, um, we did have an incident recently with, uh, Alan is landlord. Now, his wife come in the other day. His wife come in. And, um, she was looking for him. <laughs> and, uh, well, I don't know if I should really say this on camera. Oh, sorry, we're going to anyways. So, um, she, she come asking for him. And other and Tweedle Dumb over here turned around and he went, Oh, well, he's not here at minute, but I'm sure he'll be coming later. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, <sighs> absolute filth, absolute filth. Do you know I've always been in security, I have. And I have posters here on my wall. And they just remind me of why I do it. My heroes, you know. Bruce Willis, Drake and Josh. That guy from that mall cop movie. Max and Paddy again. Fantastic. Absolute classics. And these guys. They've got a gorgeous certificate. So proud of this. No, seriously, I'm so proud of this. You've got to see it. You've got to see it. Come on. Take a look at it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Ah, oh, one night, that were. For my one week intense guarding course. Proudest achievement when I were a rookie. Why do you do this? Oh, that's an easy one, that, to uh, protect and serve, of course. I mean, people need heroes now more so than ever. And with the escalation of car theft and burglaries in this area, people need them more than ever. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't do it all on my own. Like, all the great superheroes have sidekicks. Like, for instance, you've got Batman. He's got Robin. 
Then you've got Ant, who's got deck. <laughs> Probably it, to be honest. Yeah, with a job. Yeah. We should already have a phone. Every time I've got my phone out, I'll dial up and say, hello, can I order a pizza? And they say, yeah, we're only in Somewhere in England, uh, and I don't know the postcode. Yeah. And then they're going to tell me, there are 10 bridges in your local area. Which one do you want? And I say, I don't know. Uh, it's a white one, and it's got lights on it. White one. And we cross the river. Yeah, exactly. It's windy. Yeah. It's windy. That's about it. It's windy. That's about all the information you get. Better be an extra, extra hot pizza because the time it gets in the tip of the it's going to be an extra, extra cold one. Yeah. Oh, have you heard that fucking water? Place. It's making me want to paint. Don't tell me about it. Oh, I know. Oh, sorry, did you want to start? Oh, um, yeah, my name's Brian Simmons. Uh, people like to call me Baz or Bazzers, hey, hey. Um, yeah, my name is Patrick Turnco. You can just call me Patrick. So, how did you join the club? Go. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, I was looking for a different challenge. Yeah, something with a bit more life. Yeah. Oh, I worked in the funeral parlor. Yeah. Uh, then I saw this ad that came from a gum tree. Yeah, it seems to be all right. So I said, I got my CV, the interview the same day. Yeah, we yeah. are. Yeah, yeah um, Gareth gave me a job. He caught me trying to break into his dad's car to make his tape deck. He grabbed hold of me and shook me. I didn't know what to do, but he offered me a job on the spot. I can't go to prison, but mark me like a buckaroo. I'd be shaking like a shitty dog on the first night. So I'll call this meeting today, lads, because uh, we've got a new job. The council has asked us to be the new security head for their new complex car park gates. Safety and secure abbreviates to G SAS, as you can see here. Lovely camera person. G SAS. Wait, the council asked us? Yeah, so it's directly the government. Well, what about Collins Burcock nah. and his crew? Or one Ad Willis? Ah, uh, well, you see, he asked us directly. Nah, it's my old mate Jerry. We go way back, me and him, so we've got history. We know how each other works now. Nah. I'm cooking books. I've made sure that you're going to get paid. I've made sure that everything's going to be all right. We're going to start Friday. It's going to be a long week. Ends. Weekends. Yeah. Is that your friend? Yeah. Long hours, but good money. So you ain't got to worry. And of course, it's all going into your account. So I'm not making sure of that. You're looked after, don't worry, lads. Can do I get to meet this friend of yours? Yes, you can do. You can meet this friend. Because uh, I'll take you down to see him if you want. And then. If you've got any further questions, you can ask him. But we're gonna start on Friday, so I'll take you down before then. See this? It's one of my most prized possessions, this. Now, it's the old paintball team, because we were absolute savages on that battlefield. We earned many scars, many wounds, and loads of different colors plastered all our eyes. But do you know what we, we earned above all else? We earned a nickname, but first time I just get introductions. We've got me, which, all right. Then we've got this guy. This is old Jerry, one of my old mates, like proper best mates, like we go way back, me and him. And then we've got this guy. Anyways, but nickname that we got were the Untouchables. Was that because of how good you were? Oh, no, not at all, no. It's because none of women wanted out to do is after old major shot a lady in tit. I mean, military background and all that, he could paint a Dulux colour chart at hundred paces. Ah, uh, an army lad. Ah, uh, Jerry. That one. Navy. Cadets. I mean, he tried to nickname himself old major, but he never really caught on. I mean, lad's never even seen Saving Private Ryan. Once I actually saw Gareth in bed, sleeping with his torch, 
got his arms around it and everything. No. Yeah. You are. Yeah. Bullshit. Oh, yeah, is that Domino's? Yeah, uh, I called about 20 minutes ago about pizza and it's not been delivered yet. My postcode? I don't know. Well, your shop's about five minutes away from the church at the top of the stairs, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're still at the top of the stairs. I mean, at Gate Safety and Secure, we don't just take as customers' needs into account. We also do customer servicing. We fit burglar alarms. We fit social security settings. You know, it's just another day in office, really. I need to fucking work. So is Patrick Long for prick? <laughs> you know, I'm just curious. So Gareth, I'd like to talk more about work with you if that's all right. Don't forget to delete your browsing history. Shut it. Gareth, is getting work hard for you then? <laughs> He's getting hard off what's on that computer. Shut up and run and get me a coffee, little boy. It can be hard getting work for us. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, being freelance and all, not guaranteed. So when stuff like this comes up, we just have to grab at it, you know? I mean... Like, when I was young, I tried to be a bit of a businessman, but I never really fit that, I never really fit that role. Like, my dad will not let me wanted to keep buying stock, so, you know, fizzled. You were trading on the markets then in school? Oh, no. <laughs> not as fancy as that. No, I used to sell chewing gum to other kids. Did your dad not believe in that sort of thing, then? Not really. He, uh, well, he told me to stick it up my ass. Ah, uh, you'd love nothing more than having it up your arse. Where is my fucking coffee, you scrot? Hello, I'm Jerry Smith, and I work for the council, mainly handling admin, but occasionally hiring protection companies for uh, the local town. Be it for events or, you know, just for the safety of the area. Gareth said you met during your days on a paintball team. How did that come about? Yeah. Well, that was a few years ago now. Did he tell you about that time he shot that woman in the breast? Sorry, he, he said that was you? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a few years ago now. <laughs> it's a story for another day. But yeah, anyway, I, I used to go there now and again. I'd see him outside sulking about. All the team slots were full. Anyway, one of the lads on our team, his wife got pregnant and he had to leave like. And uh, anyway, when I saw him next time, I asked him if he wanted to come and join us. You should have seen his face. It's <laughs> like he'd won the lottery. So thanks for seeing us today, Jerry. I know you're a busy man, but I just wanted to make sure the boys knew what they were getting into, so we just come down here and find out a bit more about Jack. <laughs> well, at least you rang beforehand. I've got to say, though, I was a little bit confused about it. I mean, isn't this what you do, and why have I heard you? Well, yeah, it's just that at Gate Safety and Security, we take our customers and our privacy and confidentiality policies very, very seriously. Now, I just wanted to make sure that the boys knew exactly what they were doing and when they were starting. And ISSC during the meeting? Which we already covered yesterday. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. Now, what questions did you have for Mr Smith? Because we're on his time, boys. Call me Jerry. We're on Jerry's time, boys. So what is it you wanted to ask him? <clears throat> yeah, so how come you needed it at this car park? I had a look on the internet and it seems to be a fairly low level area for crime, especially car theft. Well, the owners of the businesses tend to drive more than one car. I mean, for whatever reason, uh, they leave one uh, at the office space. Now, the employers of the complex have got in touch with us um, about having some security for their vehicles. Now, with that new supermarket being built, the crime started to increase a little bit, and uh, we just need to make sure we do something. I don't want us to look bad. Well, it's all right, Jerry, because me and my boys, we like a challenge. So you can tell your co-workers that they can sleep safely knowing that the poxy little Volkswagens are going to be safe. We get safety and security. I drive a Volkswagen 4x4. Yeah, no, I mean, well, <laughs> not all people. No, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Lovely little car. Mm, very economical. Mm -hmm. Right, well... If there isn't anything else, I'm a really busy man. Um, if you'd let yourselves out and uh, Laura will sign you out of the building. Well, um, boys, is there anything else that we're wanting to add? Yeah, I don't uh, want to sound rude or anything, but how much are we getting paid? 
Well, we already covered that yesterday, but I'll let Jerry tell you. Uh, yeah, I'd have thought, uh, thought Gareth would have told you this already. Well, it did, well, it, it did briefly come up yesterday, but busy agenda, so, you know, we didn't really discuss it in, de in detail, so. Right, well, at the moment, we're really limited on uh, finances in this office, and uh, so we're really struggling. But uh, we've managed to organise £3.64 an hour. Now, that's a tidy little sum when you think about it as a total uh, contracts as hours that you're going to have and the fact that you're helping the businesses in the area. I looked it up online before I took this job, and the average minimum wage is at least £6. It might sound like I'm crying over spilt lil, but that extra money goes a long way. Does Gareth not compensate? Compensate? You're joking, aren't you? I'll show you what Gareth thinks classes as compensation. He told me to give this to my mum. What is it? <laughs> what is it? It's a bloody Lingeri coupon. What the hell am I going to do with that? Well, I think that pretty much covers it. So, um, boys, we best be on this way. And Jerry, it's been really good seeing you. Hey, maybe we can go paintballing again soon. I thought you were barred after that breast incident. <laughs> Oh no, not me, Jerry, no. You've got me confused with someone else. Um, but yeah, we'll see you again soon, yeah? Alright. Okay, see you later. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I've seen farmers milking men on the streets for more. I think you mean milking cows. No, I meant men. Farmer on my street goes by the name of Blue Top. <laughs> he does not mess about. Go on, you can have rest and day off. You sure? Really? All right. Yeah, go for it. All right. Cheers. Right, see, you later. see you later. See you tomorrow. Figured I'd give him rest and day off just because justice needs a wreck every now and again. I mean, like, you look around this town, you think it's not exactly the safest place because you've got all sorts of people knocking around here. You've got burglars, hoodlums, farmers, apparently. Yeah, well, you're in your eye, I can break both in your eye in a snap in an RV. Don't mess yeah, with Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, shut up. What? Is that really necessary, Gary? Hey, you can never be too prepared for all, you know, because that fellow on Architect, he didn't get anywhere doing all the head on show business by being unprepared. He painted the shite out of them bastards, he did. I think we should split up and take patrol routes instead of just standing like planks. All right, Gareth. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, because then, you know, that gives me a chance to wreck him a new train. Uh, yeah, definitely. Right then, I guess I'll start down there. You and Barry both decide what you're doing. Oh, yeah, I'll go down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, hang on. Quiet, isn't it? Yeah, but it normally is around this time. Anyways, how's things for you? Me? Yeah, all right, you know. Just Good. living. Good. See the girlfriend when I can. Good. Not much other than that, though, if I'm honest. You? Well, I mean, I've got money coming in, I've got my company. I can't really ask for more, to be honest. Do you not get up to much other than this, though? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm really grateful for the job, but everyone needs to, you know, break to switch off. Well, I mean, I do try and get out and see my family when I can, but that's... All this a bit difficult ever since they moved away now because, like, you know, I used to spend so much time with them, but I mean, it's alright though because I've still got to do that. Barry! What about Patrick though? What do you think of him? Well, I mean, it stays between you and me, but I think he's a bit of a fruitcake. <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't think he's right in head. I mean, like, we go way back, you know, and this one time you were trying to make me take it. I'm not kidding. Take it? Would you like, you're the other person I know in 2017 who's still got a tape there? Hey, I am not having any of that CD business. That is why they make that all that small on purpose. I have seen men do things to CDs that are not oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Come on. No, I'm not having it. I am not having it, Bazzis. I am not having it. Patrick Listen. can't be that bad. No, Barry, I'm not. You should have seen it when I caught him. Right, we should just close that bit.
I'll get to that. It's not what it looks like, lads. Oh, what does it look like then, Patrick? I was luring the thieves here by robbing a car. Uh, yeah, obviously. They'll hear the sound and know it's open season. Do you know what, Patrick? I am disappointed in you. Not only have you stolen all of these things tonight, you've stolen my heart. I can't be friends with someone who sides on injustice and wrongdoings. Do you know what? Baza, ring police. Tell them we've got the man. Come on, Baz! Help me out! I can't survive on these breadcrumb wages. He gave me a Lingeri coupon for Christ's sake! Well, to be fair, your mum is pretty fair. What a position to have me in. Do you know what? Why don't you just save it for the police? Because they're going to be here soon. And I'm sure they'd love to hear all about it. You enjoy yourself right there. Do you know what? Shut it, Patrick. If something pokes me, you're going to know about it. <laughs> oh, would you like that? Because that can be arranged. Hey, stop. 20 quid over there. Alright. Oh. 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 Ah. you bastard! Ah. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, interviewer. I'm feeling sore. What am I like at all? Where's Barry today? Oh, um, well, he's got day off. You know, I mean, he deserves it and all. Wait, what do you mean? I thought Patrick got away. What do you mean? <laughs> no, because Patrick, right, he booked it. He legged it straight across that car park, right? Cop car come round, you know that one that Barry phoned? Knocked him down faster than Berlin Wall. I'm not kidding. I pissed me stand laughing. So, here we've got what Patrick were trying to nick. Now, Stevie Wonder album. One of all time greats, that's fine. Now we've got two copies of the same Rod Stewart album. And, um, what's that one song that's on both of these albums? Some guys have all the luck. Clearly not Patrick. It's a bit ironic that, isn't it? Anyways, so, um, turns out it wasn't just Patrick that were behind everything recently. It were Patrick and all his mates. So, I think police are now working on rounding all of them up. Well, um, onwards and upwards, really. I mean, still got my car, still got my company, still got money coming in. <laughs> Can't really ask for all much more than that because Barry's still working here, Patrick's contract's been terminated, he's been fired, that's it. We're having not more to do with him, we're not associating with him. Because I, I, like, personally, I don't want to side with someone who's on wrongdoings and injustice and that path. No, but. You know, I look back on this and it reminds me of a time where I caught him trying to rob my dad's car. What was your age? Well, I'd never seen old like it. He was having sex with the exhaust. Hmm.